Hello and welcome to Joyce's Application Questions, or JAX. I'm Mark Burleson, a Senior Application Engineer with Joyce Data. Today I'm going to show you how to reload the bearings into a ball nut and what happens if you remove a ball nut from the screw without using a mandrel. Ensure all of the balls are out of the nut before proceeding to fill them. You will need to count the bearings and ensure that the proper number are there. For the information on the number of bearings in a ball nut, please contact Joyce Day and Application Engineers. First, remove the return tube covers from the ball nut. Next, remove the return tubes, noting that you may need to use a screwdriver or something else to pry them out. Okay. So the return tube is off, put back in a mandrel. and start feeding ball bearings into the races. You may have to work the mandrel rotating it to ensure that the balls fill all the races. Once when all the bearings are in the ball nut, reinstall the return tubes. Note that on some ball nuts, you may have to put the bearings in the return tubes to get the proper number into the ball nut. With the return tubes in, put in the return tube clamp. With all the ball bearings back into the nut and the return tube securely fastened, your nut is ready for use on your jack. For more information, visit joystain.com or call and ask for an application engineer.